Good morning from Glen Doig. Do you have some hardy plants, ones that will come up every year, which flower for ages? There are actually a good selection of plants that you can put in that will start flowering in, in early summer, as we are at the moment, and will probably be still in flower in September, October, November, even at Christmas time if we get mild weather. So here we have a selection here. The one nearest to me, this is dianthus or carnations or pinks. They need gritty soil, because they certainly don't like to get too wet. Dryish weather is good. If it's too wet, the flowers can go over quite quickly. But if you keep deadheading these, they will go flowering on and on and on and on all the way through the summer, probably starting in April or May and, and going on straight in, into probably at least till, till August. Most of the other ones that we've got on this table are slightly later flowering apart from this Nemissia here. Now this is sometimes just grown as an annual, but if you live reasonably near the sea, Dundee, Broughty Ferry, Perth and so on, and you have it in a raised bed or some very well-drained soil, these will go on from year to year. And uh, again, a little bit of dead heading does no harm, or you can give them a little bit of a prune and you'll get another flush of flowers. And these can go on flowering right into the autumn, very compact. This one is called Amelie. Hardy fuchsias. Great plants, they're starting to come into flower now. And again, another plant that you can still have in flower in October, November time. Masses and masses of bells hanging down in lots of different colors, pink, red, white, whichever color you like. Probably the best known plant of this collection are the potent tillers. They have flowers in all sorts of different colors, reds and oranges and yellows. Good for low hedging, good for containers. They start flowering in June and again, They'll flower on and off all summer. If they get a bit straggly, just give them a haircut. They're incredibly robust, really tough, grow anywhere, pretty much any soil. The more sun you give them, the better they get. If you want something a little bit lower growing, this little persicaria here is in flower now. Another one that starts flowering in June, and I've seen this in flower in November and December. Ground cover, planted at the front of a border. It's quite vigorous and it just keeps putting up these little little tufts of pale pink flowers all summer. Really easy plant, plenty of sunshine. We use this as a kind of border edge. It roots into the ground and spreads around, but it's not too invasive, so it's a great plant. So that's Persicaria. And last, this is Geranium Rosanne. They had a vote at Chelsea a couple of years ago for the best hybrid plant bred in the last 100 years, and this came number one, Geranium Rosanne. Why is it so good? Well, the flower is a very beautiful, vibrant, glowing blue color. The thing about it is it starts flowering at this time of year and it just goes on and on and on and on. I think it's because it's sterile, it doesn't set any seeds, so it just carries on flowering for six months. It's a fairly low growing, maybe six inches high. It spreads fairly slowly, making a little mounding sort of clump and it's just a fantastic plant. If you haven't got geranium rosanne, it must be uh, because you don't like the color blue. Who doesn't like the color blue? I love this, it's a great plant and it fully deserves its award. Mm -hmm.